She would love it. So here it is. This is the Great Jones Dutch Oven. I got it in the broccoli shade. It's kind of going back and forth, but I went for this one. So it's coated in this just plain gray. Here's how it looks. And they recommend washing by hand, which is fine. And I also like this little element. I like the color. It's very heavy. I have all my supplies ready. And I did go with two of them. And as you can see, they're bubbly. I did a small feed last night around nine. And then I also did another feed today at eight. I'm using this recipe, I didn't use the exact same way that she does because my friend who gave me this, she said add the same amount of water. Okay, how does it? So like if I use 50 grams, then I would use 100 grams of water, 100 grams of flour, but like it doesn't totally matter. But I think I have for sure enough starter. So now, because I bumped this down, that's why I did a smaller feed. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I should have enough water. If not, I'll probably do another mini feed and then do it again later. Officially did the mix of the starter with the water. And then I have my whole wheat flour and unleached bread flour, which is what the recipe calls for. So I added that and have to mix it all up. We are slowly getting there. I did what I could mixing with a spatula. Now I need to go in with my hands, so. Make sure they're nice, fresh, and washed, which they are. Okie doke, so as instructed, it is mixed up. It looks like how it does online. We'll see. So now I let it sit for a little under an hour, and then I'll add some more water and a little bit of sea salt. Added the sea salt and some more water. So it looks good. I'm just gonna let it rest a little bit more, and then I'll start doing the folds. So I'm at the pre-shape step. Um, I don't have the fancy bowls, so I went with the flour counter, and it's not rice flour, it's all-purpose flour, but it seems to work, because I tried parchment paper and it was a big fail, so I just covered them very lightly, and then in 30 minutes I do the actual shape. Mine kind of looks bigger than hers, but I don't know, we'll see. Finished my very last step of prepping the dough and shaping it. I felt like it was more, like it wasn't super easy to form it. So when I put it in the bowl, I tried to do a little more cause that's what she recommended in the post. So I have no idea how to fix that. If anyone has recommendations, please let me know. Uh, the only thing left to do is to put it in the fridge overnight. And then at 9.30, I will be able to actually bake it which I'm nervous about, but we'll see how it turns out. Today's baking day, and I'm a little nervous because I don't think my bread proofed properly. The entire time it's been very, very sticky and it's still sticky today, and I don't think it's really maintaining its shape. I think it's gonna kind of be a hot mess, but I figure I'll put in the first loaf, and if it's garbage, then I'll have to just buy like a bread tin or something, which I don't have which who knew that sourdough process was this expensive. It's time to preheat the oven and I got my little guy in there ready to go. So I can the test before this will fit. I might just, I think I'm gonna take out the top rack. Okay, I'm gonna go with this and then I can just scoop it and put the bread in. Alright, so my oven has been preheating at 515 for an hour. So I just lowered it to 500. And now I have to take the bread and pop it on here. And I'm really nervous because I don't think that this shape is good enough. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. See, even just like looking at this, it's soggy. And the shape I made yesterday is gone. So yeah, I'm sad. <sighs> this is like the size, right? So obviously it flattened out. It's not like that terrible and it might actually be okay. It's just like, I don't know how to fix it. If you have comments, please tell me. All right, so I have it in here. Maybe it'll actually work. I have no clue, honestly, 
but let's see what happens. I had to shake it out because I just realized I forgot to let it score. And it's not really like, it's not letting me do it because it's so sticky. Like what the fuck did I do wrong, right? But um, at least it's really bubbly. And I just trimmed the side a little bit. Um, I don't know, I'll see how it turns out. I'm kind of scared. So here's how it turned out. It actually did keep the scoring, which is good. Just a little bit of cracking, but it is quite flat compared to what I'd think. But what matters is as long as it tastes good. And obviously practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna put in the second loaf, see how that turns out. Just using this as a DIY cooling rack for now. Can't wait to try it. Okay, so here's how the final loaves turned out. This one, obviously it's a lot smaller, so that could be why it held its shape a little bit better and it's obviously a little bit darker than this one. Um, they could have risen a bit more, but could be worse. So just gotta taste it now. So here's a side look at the bread. So as you can see, it has all the holes that you want and it actually tastes really, really good. I was very nervous, but happily it turned out and tastes great. Not overly sour, but just the right amount. And just taking a look at the interior of the Duchess. There's only this little tiny bit and it's going to be pretty easy to wipe clean. So I'm happy with how this stood up to the oven. All right, y'all, this sums up this video. The bread actually turned out amazing. I'm so happy with just how it tastes, the texture, everything. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It's free and helps support my channel. See you all next time.